Have you ever wondered what Earth will be like in the next 100 years? Would the biosphere be at the point of no return, with radioactive waste spread throughout our planet? Are you fed up of hearing of nuclear waste dumps being built, and worse old nuclear reactors with years of waste leaking on a consistent basis? Mad that our beautiful ocean and great lakes are becoming disposal sites? Then look no further. I'm going to be putting together a series of videos looking at the challenges of sending nuclear waste into space. Getting nuclear waste to space is hard enough. Long-term missions will be needed to get nuclear waste out of Earth's orbit. You would not want millions of pounds of nuclear waste on fire come crashing down to Earth, the biggest dirty bomb ever conceived. We're going to look at the pros and cons of using the moon as a temporary waste site. We're going to look at the Obama's administration proposal of sending nuclear waste into the sun and what could go wrong. We're going to analyze the shaky record of sending rockets into space. We're going to talk about new technologies being developed to create an elevator to space. Sounds far-fetched? Developers say they can get it done by 2035. We're also going to look at how NASA must change its ways to make nuclear waste a priority and create a new space dock beyond Earth's gravitational field. We're going to look at nuclear waste canisters and how they must be able to survive dropping from space. We're going to look at Venus and her two moons as a long-term solution. We're going to talk about the nuclear astronauts will have to be the glorified garbage men of the future. I'm looking for some new ideas to help Earth rid itself of nuclear waste threat. You're welcome to share your thoughts, proposals, comments down in the comment section.